Halifax City soccer members, Mike Wyatt, I uh, just want to connect with you all as I'm about to release uh, information for registration for the fall. Uh, thanks to all those that have uh, provided some survey results uh, to help us as we navigate this. And uh, hopefully uh, this will provide some context to, to some of the information that I'm going to present to you. Um, it's really important that um, you know we are transparent with you and we don't want you to create a narrative just out of false information uh, and hearsay and that you get it from us directly. So this is what this is really about. Hoping you, you watch this um, and, and then you can provide context to what you're probably reading that uh, we just posted. So um, first of all, if you're a U4, U8 parent, we're still working on the details. We think we have an idea of what we can do to service you. Again, it's, it's solely dependent on facilities at this point. Uh, getting facilities seems to be uh, really difficult uh, so we've managed to get some time, um, not as much as we'd like, but we feel like we've got enough to be able to service our members that have been participating at Springvale uh, over the last two months. Uh, as we are heading to September to November, I know there was a lot of families that were, uh, would prefer us to keep going month to month, as, as would we. We want to be that nimble. The problem that we're running into is to, to secure the turf time we have to take it uh, all at once. And we're on the hook for it the minute we take it. Um, so it's not that we can pick and choose and then give some back in November, et cetera. We have to take what we take and we needed what uh, the 10 hours that we uh, asked for. So that's where we're at. So uh, again, if there's a worst case scenario, um, we go into lockdown, uh, we're not gonna keep your money. So if that's your fear, um, we're gonna do what's right. We're gonna do what's safe. We'll close our programs and we will figure out a calculation to prorate the program based on what you've used. And we'll either give you that in credit if that's what you want or we'll refund it directly back to you. We're not in the business of taking your money um, and not providing a service. So rest assured, if that's your fear, we will, uh, we will certainly uh, be good on that. If you fear safety, we've decided, for, our aim is here to keep us outdoor as long as possible to try and reduce the risk of uh, COVID-19 spread. So we're going to be at Mainline Common for the for the uh, entirety of this program. We're hoping that maybe we can get the odd hour here and there at BMO, maybe for our U4, U8 program. Um, but at this point, we, we're unable to get any other turf time anywhere else in the city that's within our catchment. Dalhousie and SMU are not ready to rent to external groups. They want to try and do some intramural stuff, and they can't build their schedule before they get their class uh, schedule. And so what they've done is they've said, look, you know, they don't want to lose us as, as a customer and they want our business, but they can't give us uh, field time right now, which doesn't help us. But we will look at that once they figure their class schedule out. So what I'm about to present to you is September to November. The cost is for what we're presenting now. And then if there's any increase uh, to training opportunities, we'll, we'll, we'll communicate that. And then we'll, you know, we'll obviously uh, communicate what the cost would be. Same for games. If Fingers crossed we get uh, a change in the the, uh, the social distancing restrictions. Maybe there's an opportunity to add games into this program against other clubs. We shall see, um, but it will be probably an extra cost based on what we are presenting today. So with that being said, um, you'll see here we've got September to November. And really what we're committing to is three hours every two weeks. So you'll get a guaranteed session every week, and then every other week you'll get uh, another session or a game. It includes a full savvy kit. So if you're U9 to U18, you will get a full training kit, jersey, shorts, and socks. That's a $50 retail value. Um, so what it's working out roughly to be is about $200 for the program, which based on the number of sessions you'll receive is about $11 per session, which is very reasonable um, for turf. So hopefully... All of you that are participating now will return to us uh, and allow this club to keep uh, moving forward in a very dark space. Uh, it's um, Registration will be through the clubhouse for the first week to all existing uh, program um, registrations. After that, it will go into Demosphere. There will be a fee increase once it goes into Demosphere because there's costs associated to that service. Uh, so if you are uh, a member, don't wait the week and get caught out and then have to pay uh, an extra fee through Demosphere. We'd much rather you do it through here. Plus, it gives us way more time to figure out how to manage the registrations. There are limited spots, mind you. Uh, the schedule is this. Tuesday, Wednesdays, guaranteed sessions every week. They're not going to change. 
The Thursday sessions are going to alternate every other week. So you'll know in advance when your extra session exists. If something else changes and we get turf time offered to us or games offered to us, we will communicate that appropriately. But that is our schedule as of right now. You'll notice on Thursdays too is goalkeeper training. We're offering six sessions, 80 bucks, limited spots for the first probably 15 to 16 kids, U9 to U18. Uh, and that will be with Kieran and myself. So if you're a goalkeeper, we do have something for you as well. And you can check, uh, register through the same uh, platform, the clubhouse, um, as of tomorrow at noon. In terms of um, this, uh, the, the venue, this is super important. We are a new venue. We will carry on with the checking process through the clubhouse. That's for track and trace. Again, well done to everyone who, who's figured that out eventually now. I'm really happy with how that's going. You'll notice we have field one on Tuesday, Wednesday. So your, your session every week, you're on the main soccer field. On the alternative session, you'll be on field two. Um, when you come through the check-in, hopefully uh, there'll be a, a two entries, one to field two, one to field one. If we're on field one, you're going to go down, you're going to be cones on the ground, and you're going to socially distance yourself while you wait to check in at the tent. Once you've checked in at the tent, we'll tell you your group. You will go to a designated space on uh, one of the two bleachers, and that will be your group. When you're sat in your group on the bleacher, you cannot go to another group. You must stay with your group. Once the, the, the group on the field has finished, we will then let our groups on. If you're on uh, the field and, it, and it's then, I don't know, say six o'clock, you must grab your belongings and leave immediately. No loitering. Go straight out the gate so that we can get the next group on. This is critical. The longer that takes, the less time we get to play. We don't have a 30 minute transition time anymore. And it's the exact same process on field two. So just so you know, you're going to be going left. There'll be cones laid out on the ground. There'll be a check-in tent. And then you'll go to the, the bleacher that we've designated to you. When you register, really important, please make sure that you register for the program that you're in now. So this is not considered winter programming. This isn't a new season. So if you're a U15 player graduating to U16, in this fall program, you're still U15. You're not a U16 player. If you're a U18 player, you're not now a senior player. You still can register at U18. We will uh, graduate everyone to the new season after we finish this three-month program. So this is an extension of our summer because we lost three months at the beginning of our summer. So you'll click the program that you're in currently. You'll write your name, your age. You put your jersey, jersey size. And a lot of you did say that you were willing to donate, and we didn't offer that through the clubhouse. So we have added that option. If you are in a position to support the club financially, any dollar uh, helps us. We are not in the best situation. No club is, no sport organization is. So anything you can do to financially support us, we will be massively appreciative of that. And then you'll add to court. Um, in terms of uh, goalkeeper, that will be in the same spot. It's the same process. You register, you go through the same process and you, and you submit. And again, the limited spots. Um, just to show you, we've initially started off with 40 per age group. And again, that should support what we're doing um, with what we have currently at Springville. So we shouldn't have any situation where no kid doesn't get to play. However, uh, please get yourself ready as soon as possible. Um, the sooner you do that, then administratively, it's so much easier for us. I want to thank Tony's Pizza. Um, uh, again, Community Pizza Shop for supporting us. He is sponsoring this three-month program. Uh, and again, we really, really want you to support local businesses. So if you're in that vicinity of that community that Tony services, please order from Tony. There is a, uh, a discount for being a city member. So make sure that you tell them that you're a city soccer member and you'll get a discount on your pizza order as well. Uh, guys, again, if you've got any information that you want to give me, if there's any questions that you have, just reach out to us. We're super available to you uh, and we'll do our best. Uh, we'll have a conversation and we'll figure it out. Uh, again, I want to thank all of you. You've been unbelievable partners with us to make sure that your kids have had uh, a soccer experience over the last two months. I'm super excited to, to extend this for another three months. And I'm hopeful, like all of you are, that maybe we can start to have just a bit more formal competition for the kids uh, and that we can uh, you know, just, just change it up ever so slightly for them. Outside of that, um, yeah, if you've got any questions, give us a shout and we'll speak to you really soon.